Right on, that was Polaris Rose with Radio X, Y, Z, or Z, however you want to say it. Um, a very good tune. I love their harmonies. They always do such a good job, and it flows very well, and they're 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 really good at uh, kind of, they have the kind of rock, almost kind of pop mix for the lot of songs, because some of the songs are a little bit heavier than others, but they do such a good job of pulling both of them off. Yeah, and this is one of those, uh, one of those bands that, again, I, I can just sit back and listen and I don't really have to critique them because they just do everything so well. Um, it's They're so polished and I love the vocals and there were some really interesting things going on, Nolan was saying, with the panning with the guitars. Um, yeah, beautiful, yeah, beautiful work. Production is awesome. Very, very polished, very good. Right on. Well, next band we're going to get to is a band we've heard before called The Convoys and the song is called oh. Fist Fight. Convoys with Fist Bite, uh, and you know what? These guys are a great band. I have seen them live, and uh, they pretty much are trying to prove that Alternative is not dead with the three piece they are, that uh, they can still rock it out, and that they do. Absolutely. it's. I think they describe themselves as garage grunge, and I would absolutely agree with that. It's really rough edged and just hard hitting, and it's just pure. Great power, very interesting songwriting. They, they've got some kind of interesting choices for tonalities in there, but they pull it off. Um, really, really a good job. You know, when I saw them live too, I got a chance to talk to them. I talked to Jason, uh, cause they were first up before a band I went to see called Beekeeper. And then I interviewed them about, uh, probably about two months later. And when I was talking to them, uh, I said, well, you guys have to play a London show. And I said, well, you know, there's a place called Call the Office. And, uh, uh, I guess their manager was with them. And Jason, uh, cause I was doing a video sketch with them and, uh, 
He said, you know what, our manager just mouthed like, yes, that's a great place. I was like, well, when are you guys coming? <laughs> <laughs> so that was really cool. They, unfortunately, they haven't come to London yet. I mean, they're getting closer, but uh, I'm hoping they do soon because I would like to see them again. They really put on a good show. So next up, we're going to get to a new artist that we played last week. This artist is called Emute, and the song is called Miracle. Dig this. stellar tune that was this guy does does not cease to amaze me you know it's the second song we played by him i do have his ep and uh it's just nothing short of incredible he does essentially everything himself and uh he's got a great voice and he's, he's very multi-talented uh, uh uh instrument wise and and vocally he's just he's just great it was just a great tune it's a great tune a, a 
great sound. I mean, it's just it's somewhat symphonic just in the, how it sounds, and I love the keyboards and yeah, his vocals are great. It just has such an intensity and power to it. It just yeah, I love that he's creating all of that power basically with bass drums and piano. It's it's amazing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it was the first. Uh, it's the first thing I said when I heard the song because I was talking with him earlier this afternoon, and uh, yeah, he sent me sent me that as well. And I was like, oh, wow, man, this is this is great. So we got time for one more for part two, and this is the newest one by the Everglows, and this is a more or less a festive song. It's called "Walking in the Air." Dig this. <laughs> The Everglow is with Walking in the Air. Now, uh, that was a good tune. Uh, <clears throat> pretty much in, in, uh, in, right in line with the rest of her songs. Uh, I'm not quite sure the festive part of this song was, but it's still a good tune nonetheless. <laughs> I mean, I was listening for it, but I didn't quite get it. But either way, it's still a good tune. Yeah, I, I thought it was interesting the way they... Uh, sounds like somebody was using the vibrato channel on a Fender amp. Um, which you don't hear very often, and, and they pulled it off pretty nicely. Yeah, great. Well, right on. So that's going to do it for part two of Music Saturday, and we'll be back in about five, ten minutes for part three. So until then, stick around. We'll be right back. Bones out.